but here we are up at Lanark again and uh, as you see peace on earth good will to all um, this is apparently um, in the Christian church they say that this is the time that Jesus was born but is that the reason that Jesus was born um, to give peace on earth and goodwill to all uh, Jesus actually said that I come to bring a sword and not peace okay so basically Jesus Christ came to take the, the keys of death and hell away from Satan um, so that he'd rise from the dead so again this is not the gospel and um, Christmas does not preach the gospel and um, Christmas time you know, Christians say that, you know, put the Jesus back in Christmas. Well, if Jesus ever celebrated Christmas or observed it or, you know, celebrated his own birthday, give me the scripture and verse for that one, please. And uh, please realise that Christmas time has nothing to do with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ came from heaven to earth um, to die a, a horrible death on the cross um, to actually um, save mankind, all those who put their trust and their faith in Jesus Christ shall be saved, who proclaim that his Lord and Saviour shall be saved. That is the gospel, not not um, goodwill to all, okay, because simply um, Satan just won't have that. I mean, Satan's kingdom is still very much alive. You know, we've had various holocausts over the, over the hundreds of years, there's holocausts in the Bible. The word holocaust is used um, in some translations of the Bible. Um, and so on. Um, so it's, it's, it's just there, there is no peace on earth and at the moment. Um, goodwill to men. If I stand and preach the gospel, which I have in this town, this is Lanark, by the way. This is the small town of Lanark, where we have preached the gospel here before. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if everybody in the town knows the gospel and certainly if this is the central church in Lanark and they're not preaching the gospel then how is anybody else meant to know what the gospel is? Do you see what I'm saying? So there, there is a, a dearth, what's called a basically a famine if you like for not hearing the actual word of God um, in, in this land. It's a reformist land, it's a reformation uh, land, Scotland you know. Um, the amount of people that actually, you know, hold the gospel dear to them or actually read the Bible. I, I don't imagine there'd be that many still do that. And they certainly still give credence to the King James Bible. Um, I don't think there'd be that many still that would, that would do that in Scotland. So, yeah, this is the town of Lanark. And, uh, now that particular statue is in fact uh, William Wallace been told from a, a yoko so apparently there is another monument um, further down uh, this road where William Wallace died um, so that is I guess it's a William Wallace Memorial Church I'm not really sure I think it's a church of Scotland I'll try and find a bit more information about it but here we are in the town of Lanark and uh, well <laughs> let's see if we can ask anything what they really what the gospel is. See if we can ask anybody. And they want to buy a shop in Lanark, there is. I think you'll get that for quite a good bargain. I'm not exactly sure how much you'll get it for, but there you go. So you can definitely see that um, obviously anybody that stood up stood up for truth past 2,000 years, um, the empires don't like it, so the powers that be don't like it, basically they want to create a bunch of slaves and a bunch of people that are ignorant to not only God's law, but you know the law that makes people free, and that's um, the law of um, faith and grace in Jesus Christ, um, and again this is not the gospel, it's not the gospel okay. Okay, so over here we have the god Odin um, commanding that you must put some kind of um, fir tree up um, with a little star at the top, okay? But nowhere in paganism does it actually say um, to cover that tree in lights, okay? Because people talk about the festive season 
and, and when they say that they mean Christmas and Hanukkah and any other festivals that are going on during this time. Now Hanukkah is actually called the Feast of Lights, okay? So uh, I've heard people say, well, you know, I, I like Christmas and all that stuff. Okay, you like, this is probably the part, the type of thing that you like, okay? This is probably why you like Christmas, okay? Because you like lights and basically Hanukkah is the Feast of Lights. And what we have here are not Christmas trees, they're just normal um, trees. And they're ab absolutely obviously covered in lights. So, I don't I think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, if it was Hanukkah, if, if I was celebrating Hanukkah, yeah, I, why not put lights up? You know, why not put lights up? Um, is a guy trying to get in my video. <laughs> anyway, so there we have it. I mean, the Feast of Lights. Um, nothing wrong with putting a set of lights up, as long as you don't have one of these things, which is like a triangle pointy Illuminati eye, all seeing eye star thing at the top, which is like represents the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And this, this could very well be the time that Eve was deceived into eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This, this festival could, in fact, go back all the way to the Garden of Eden um, when Satan had victory over Adam and Eve and made them sin. Okay, so but, the, but as a, again, Christmas has got nothing to do with the gospel. It's got nothing to do with the salvation of mankind, how Jesus Christ had compassion um, on man and basically poured himself out on a cross so as to redeem mankind from this, from the paganism of this world, Satanism. Feast of Lights is fine. This is not fine. I hope this explains something about what the gospel truly is and um, what this holiday season indeed represents. Because this is in fact the time that um, if you actually read John 10, it talks about Hanukkah, uh, it talks about Jesus being in Solomon's porch, uh, talking to the Pharisees again in John 10, um, saying that, um, that they're thieves, that they're going in, going in, trying to get into the kingdom in a different way, but he is the only way into the Father's kingdom through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross, okay? And um, basically this is also the time that um, the angel Gabriel visited Mary to, to give her the good news that she was going to be with child and she was going to call that child the deliverer of Yah, okay? His name is Yahshua, okay? Yahshua is, is Jesus', Jesus true name. Um, this is the time, that, that this is what the Feast of Lights is about. It's about the Maccabees fighting the, the oppression of the Greeks and different nations that came in and tried to set up idols um, in the sanctuary and tried to kill off, or basically make the Jews eat unclean food as well, which the Jews didn't have anything of. And neither did the apostles. Jesus didn't teach the apostles to eat unclean food either, which is again um, just a, a very, very wicked um, so-called Christian teaching that Jesus came to teach people to eat bacon and pork. It's absolutely false. It's, it's not true. So um, I like, I love um, songs like Heart the Herald Angels Sing and all that stuff. It's just that Jesus, Yeshua's birthday had to be um, in alignment with the Torah. And he was truly born um, eight days after the start of the Feast of Tabernacles, which, which means to, to dwell, that God came to dwell, that God took on human flesh and came um, um, to tabernacle, as it were, with man. And he, he was born um, on the first day of the, the Feast of Tabernacles and circumcised on the eighth day, which is also known as the last great uh, day, feast day of the Torah. As I say, Jesus came to fulfill the Torah, not to do away with it. He said that with his own words, okay? So again, please just examine your, your, your beliefs in, in, in your Christian walk, please. Uh, all the best to you, and the Lord loves you, and... Um, Please show that by keeping his commandments. Thank you for listening.